it's Michelle and you guys might remember my disco ball bead charm that I did not long ago this was one of my favorites and when I released that video I got a lot of comments saying that it reminded people of a gumball machine so I thought I would do a gumball machine and with this disco ball I had the multicolored rhinestone Shambhala bead but that was on a black background so I thought I'd change it up a little bit and for the gumball machine I got the multicolor on a white background and I did get it a little bit larger for my disco ball I used a 10 millimeter and I got this one for the gumball in a 12 millimeter and on my disco ball I had it on this cone shaped base because that reminded me of that iconic cone shaped stand for the disco ball and I thought for a gumball machine that came to a little bit too narrow of a point at the top so I looked through my stash to see what I could find that may be a little more shaped like a gumball machine base so here's what I came up with a Christmas bell that way we have that tapered shape that we need but not quite so narrow at the top so we're going to be using that Christmas bell as our base and that also measures at about 12 inches wide and once we remove this loop at the top it'll be about nine millimeters tall and then for the topper on the machine I have an 8 millimeter bead cap here that was in silver and I just painted that red this was what it started out as and I just cleaned it with alcohol painted two coats of a red fingernail polish over top of that and the color that I used was the Essie Forever Yummy but just find whatever color matches best with your Christmas bell. And then after the fingernail polish dries, just coat over that with a little bit of Mod Podge. And then we have an eight millimeter pearl bead. And you can use anything here. This is just gonna go up inside of the base to help stabilize that a little bit for us. And I just chose the red pearl so that it would kind of blend in for us and hopefully not show up much at all. And then I have a two inch head pin and a lobster clasp and we'll also be making a jump ring. So to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the little jingly part out of the bell. And to do that, I just clipped it away with my wire cutters and then you can pull the rest out from the bottom. Okay, so you can see that there. And then what I did was just kind of take my bead reamer or any sort of narrow tool that you can reach up in there with and kind of press that slot back together a little bit so that it won't wobble too bad on us And then just kind of take your bead reamer and make sure that you've got a hole big enough right in the center for your pin to come through. And with that wide slot, it looks like it would just slide side to side on our head pin. But having that pearl inside to help stabilize it is going to keep it from doing that a little bit too. So you just take your head pin 
and first put on your pearl bead and then your Christmas bell and you can see that that really can't go side to side now with that pearl inside of there and then put your gumball bead on top I think I like it in that direction and then our little bead cap topper so then we just hold everything firmly together and bend our head pin over at a 90 degree angle Cut that down to about a quarter of an inch. Roll that into a loop. take my little bit of excess here and make a jump ring just clip that apart where it meets and there's your jump ring And then just open that up, dangle on our gumball machine, and our lobster clasp, and close that back up. And there you have a gumball machine. you all like this video be sure to let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel give me a like on my facebook page and join our facebook group crafty minds follow me on pinterest and instagram and don't forget to visit the blog thanks for watching i'll see you next time